Hi, I'm Rudranil. Uh, sorry for being absentage for a long time. So today I came up with the questions. So the question is, which is more important as a cardiac technologist, your uh, technology at first or cardiac anatomy? Uh, if you ask me frankly, then I have seen many people are skipping this uh, message because they don't want to talk about and their ideology is all about like getting graduated and getting expertise in the healthcare sector and that's and that's how goes on but today my point of view is not like that my point of view is all about how this area can be can be seen as a broader experts can we uh, do a multipulative work in upcoming futuristic goals so before going to core material i want to say something like find your area of interest because cardiac itself have a great domain and i have seen many people are confused with the things like there are various topics what to focus on what to not before that you have to start focus on your things like which is which you feel more confident to do so at first like electrophysiologist where uh, where you will learn about the conduction system signaling system and how it is linked with other organs or other system how it's come from and that's how research works that's how that's how the calculative mind works and in further uh, in further scopes you can uh, study for the msc uh, physiology or you can do other physiology sectors then come for cardiac anatomy so generally we know uh, uh, your normal traditional echocardiography uh, TTE it focuses on the frontal surface of the heart mainly so uh, and where that posterior surface are mainly hidden and as per BSc level I am saying not for MSc obviously in MSc echocardiography you will learn about the TE procedures and all where you will learn about more of the posterior structures but as per BSc you can you can read more you can understand more like many deformity and many muscular de uh, dystrophy and then uh, your structural defects then many hidden structures in the posterior side where you can do Excel uh, Excel in a BSc level then I feel epidemiology epidemiology like how the uh, diseases like suppose i am taking an example of atherosclerosis how this atherosclerosis is different from one state to another state how this is variated how the types are variations the material the uh, the elements how it's different then you can do research like how the play uh, generally we know plaques are different type fibro fatty then calcium so where you can work on epidemiology is really a good uh, good scopes you can say it's it's all about stats and this epidemiology really helps in terms of in terms of research research purpose and that's where that's where research begins then periodic cardiology itself having other domain where you can where you can also focus on then clinical cardiology like uh, palpating pal palpitations and all where like both arms pressure systolic pressures uh, differ by 10 mmg or 20 mmg where it is a crucial crucial stage to deter signify the cardiovascular diseases and all you can work on and i have seen everyone mainly focuses on the healthcare sectors so now comes to the main point uh, just I want to give an example in in microbiology field employees are scattered in different sectors right employees are uh, scattered in a different sector different field and that's how that's how the job sectors are available for them in every uh, in every sector in every in, in every industry and especially they have grad people research grads that's where that's where they are uh, they're doing excelling in the uh, in the society but the crt is mainly a emerging emerging factor or emerging you can say scores so uh, emerging course obviously it started new and my my uh, domain used to say my like my point of view i want to say like we can do our more best in upcoming time and we can scatter it in different field and we can really work on different organization the thing i have seen many few students uh, are going to foreign that is not necessary at at all you can do your best if you if you really are intelligent you can do uh, if you can you are really smart you can do your best at your positions just you have to need you have to need supports and availability of resources so my point of uh, question is uh, sorry, sorry today my point of view is like is all about like how you can excel your work field how can excel your your 
thinking ability for the cardiac technology and thanking you and uh, um, many people ask me questions and uh, i'm really sorry for not being answer so i will try to uh, try to accommodate that and getting a resolution so solution for it and thank you and and have a nice day bye